guys, this is Neoni Artist and welcome to my channel. This is my look of the Nordic Face Awards Top 15 Challenge of Cyberpunk. I wanted to add my own little twist to it and add some gaming vibes to it. So I hope you enjoy this and if you want to see me in the top 5 then please check the description box for the link to vote. All the products listed on the screen are provided by Nyx Professional Makeup. Now let's get going and game on! Starting with making of the heart, I am adding one part of glycerin, gelatin and water. Mix it properly and heat it in the microwave for 4 times per 15 seconds. Then I'm adding a little bit of Vivid Brights cream color in black blood and some blue fluid coloring. Then I'm taking a wine glass and saran wrap to pour in my gelatin mix. Grab a balloon, stick it in, fill it with water and tape a PVC tube onto it. Pour gelatin inside and wrap it up. Secure it with tape and put it onto the fridge to cool down. Then mix in some food coloring with water and fill the tube with syringe. Then we take another balloon, fill it almost with water and tape it onto the other end of the tube. And this is how it looks like. Look at it pumping. I noticed that the aorta wasn't long enough, so I poured some more gelatin in and stick it in the fridge and filled it out and now it looks even better. Then I took some UV paint and started to paint on the base on my heart. Starting with the cyber mask, you need a goggle with a tape lens for protection and a basic plastic mask. Starting off to cut the shape out of the mask that I want and make sure it fits my face. Then I'm cutting the eye socket bigger for more comfort. Next we need a see-through blue paper to cut out a lens shaped piece. Stick it in, make sure it fits. Glue the edges. Next up this little LED light here. Make sure it fits inside and is in the middle of the lens. Glue it on the inside wall of the goggle like this. Then adding a piece of foam sheet to cover up the hole and protect my eye from the light. Before gluing it, I marked out the hole for the LED light bottom. Then make sure the bottom has the contact to the chip on the LED light and glue the foam sheet on the goggle. Then I'm heavily gluing the free edges of the goggle and secure every edge onto the mask and make sure it's sealed. Then I sprayed the whole thing with chrome spray and it came out pretty nice. Next we're adding some wires to the goggle. I glued the wires on the river nut surrounding the lens. Just a reminder when you're playing with hot glue, watch your fingers. I burned myself several times. <laughs> I also had some screws that I glued on to decorate my mask. And here you go, we're done! So first off with the hair, we have this beautiful mess right here, but we're gonna fix it. We're parting off the top of my hair and stick the rest of the hair on a bun. Back come the fluff out of your hair. Don't forget the hairspray though. Like this. Oh yeah. Starting with the makeup, I'm taking HD Studio Photogenic Foundation in New Diaphane and blend it on my face with a damp sponge. Then I'm taking the Highlight and Contour Cream Pro Palette Shade Sculpt with the brush number 25 and give my face some dimension. With the same palette and brush number 14, I'm highlighting the highest points of my face with the shade Soft Light. Also blending it out with the sponge. Then I'm applying the base of the neon liner with the jumbo eye pencil and milk and smudge it out with the brush number 15. Then I'm taking the matte teal shade from the Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette in Electric with the brush number 30 and pat it on top of the jumbo eye pencil. 
Then we're drawing a new line over with the fox whites in the right brightener in the shade Baby Powder. And set it again with the same teal shade. Taping my forehead and side shape. And start to add some greasy, uneven, grungy base fading downwards with the Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss in Pentatile and the Precision Blending Sponge. I'm also fading it a little bit upwards from my brow. To set the gloss I'm using the black shade from the Love Contour Soul palette with the brush number 5 and pat it on top of all the areas we smudge with the lip gloss. The messier, the better. Then I tear out the tape and pat some leftover foundation with the sponge and add that black eyeshadow to fade out any harsh lines. Changing the brush to number 16, I'm defining the outlines of the neon line and give my nose a dirty contour. Also smudging the brush on my cheeks and ears. Highlight time! Because the base of the cheeks is a wee bit tacky, I first pat then swipe with the brush number 24. I'm using the Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder in Twilight Tint. Then I'm taking that same teal shade and blend it out with the black. Then I'm taking the That's the Point Artistry Eyeliner in the style Super Edgy and I'm creating this very fierce cat eye. Also extending my waterline a bit. To add some punky cyber vibe, I glued some studs and metallic buttons onto my side shave and forehead with a lash glue applied with a Q-tip. Adding some mascara to my upper lashes and moving on to filling in the lower lash line. I'm using the Fox White's Inner Eye Brightener in Baby Powder and top it off with the Duochromatic Illuminating Powder in Twilight Tint with the brush number 15. Then I'm taking the trusty Epic Ink Liner and define some graphic lines underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm adding a highlight onto my neon line with a white and a hint of blue UV paint mixed together with the brush number 11. I'm also freehanding these microchip patterns moving outwards from the eye. Don't forget to add the dots, finishing the microchip patterns. Enough of the face for a while. We're moving to the body. I'm sketching out my armor and my UV skeleton with the Fox White's Inner Eye Brightener in Baby Powder. You can use anything you want that is easy to cover or easily wipes out in case you want to correct some areas of your design. When you're drawing around your arm, do short strokes at a time and make sure from every angle that the lines are straight. I'm crouching my shoulders in front so I can sketch out my collarbones. The ribs are easy to draw. Just follow the curve of one rib at a time from the breastplate curving outwards and back. Then I'm taking a silver body paint and start to fill in my armor. Unfortunately, this looked so iridescent and bad, I decided to take a mixing medium and a silver pigment and voila! We have an armor, guys! I'm leaving some of my guidelines visible so I remember where to paint all my wanted outlines. Then we're taking a black body paint and fill in all the outlines of the armor. I'm also filling in the negative space of my hand and leave a small space between the outlines of my bones. To start off with my bones, I use pretty much the same brushes and technique for every single bone I'm making. I'm starting off with white UV paint with the brush number 12 and a blue UV paint with the brush number 27. 
Then I'm mixing a tiny amount of black with that blue and create the hollow of the bone. I also use my fingers to help blending when the body paint is still wet. Layering is the key to this, so keep on doing while blending and it will turn out great. To add that popping finishing touch, I take the white UV paint in number 11 and clear up my lines. When doing the rib cages with the blue, I'm leaving the outlines of my ribs going behind a little bit see-through so I can see where to paint them on later. This time when we need a little bit more detailed shading with the black and blue mix, I'm using the brush number 28 to shade between and inside my ribs. A good tip I can make with the UV paint, I had a UV light beside me all the time so I can see how it glows under the UV light. That way I can control the glow with the blue and the black. At some point it feels like everything looks like a big mess, but trust the process. When adding the final highlight, it will all come together. Also when drawing the finishing lines, draw all first the ribs bending backwards, then the ribs on the front. The lines will top each other and look more cohesive. And a good note I learned today about body painting, that do your neck the last, because it will smudge like nothing else. I ended up repairing it several times in this tutorial, so please keep that in mind. If you're doing a body paint and painting your neck, paint it last, because it will save some time for you. Finally, after the long part of UV bone paint, we can clean out some outlines from all that blending. I also added the ripped line to separate my skin from the rib cage. Starting off with the shading, I am taking the Love Contours Oil Palette and the shade Black with a blending brush to create shadows and texture onto my armor. This looks almost better, in my opinion, if it isn't too neatly blended, as it will give texture and kind of a worn out look, if that makes sense. As this theme is cyberpunk, we'll keep it the punky grungy way. To give my tube surrounding my arm a 3D look, I am shading inside the outlines, leaving the center light. That way it'll look rounded out. Then I take a white body paint with the brush number 20 and start to highlight some parts of my body paint. To add some wires around my armor, I'm using all three of the Vivid Brights eyeliners in Vivid Halo, Vivid Fire and Vivid Sapphire. Up to the messy part. I am using a black liquid latex to cover my arm and spread it out with a tissue. And my camera died, but don't worry, you'll see later how I finish it. To make my skin look like I've been living in the dumpster for weeks, I am taking the Love Contours All Palette Shade Black with the brush number 25 and start stippling and smudging it onto my decolletage. I'm also taking the dark brown shade with the brush number 16 to create a shadow just one centimeter off the edge of that ripped skin. I'm also giving my jawline a little bit more definition. Okay, so back to the latex. When it has dried, I start to rip holes in it to make it look like all of my stockings with these nails. Then I'm repeating the same steps to my lower arm and before the latex has dried, I take these metallic buttons and push them on until it has dried and attached to the latex. This we've been waiting for. To attach the mask, I'm using some spirit gum on the mask and my face. I wait it to get tacky and then I press it on. Watch out for the eye area and your brows. Then I'm grabbing the loose wires and attach it into my hair with a bobby pin. 
I'm taking the HD Studio Photogenic Foundation again with the same blending sponge and pat it around the mask. Then I'm taking the light brown shade from the Love Contours All Palette with the brush number 17 and start to shade around my mask, leaving the edge bare. Then I'm taking the brush number 34 in the same shade and start to define my edge. Then I take the Micro Contour Dua Pencil in the shade Light and start to give my edge a highlight. I'm also blending it out with my finger. So now we're off to finish my hand and fingers. I roughly did all the same step for the bones and the armor as on the body, so I'm not going to repeat myself at this point. This was hard though, as you have only half of your vision at this point, as your goggle is covering up the other eye completely. So keep that in mind, as it will affect your ability to proceed. To create the flash on my shoulder, I used white and blue UV paint mixed and faded it into the black. Finally, we can finish the face! I'm taking the Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss in Femme Fatale and create this gorgeous glossy black lid with it. I'm also adding it to my lips. And yes, I'm overlining it. Then we can fix the hair. I'm adding some old Cyberlux extensions of mine and tying them onto the bun we tied up earlier. Then I fix my mohawk and the hair is done. Then I'm adding some final touches and repairing the worn out body paint. I also wanted to add a wee bit more latex in my hand. And lastly, painting and fixing my armpit. And here you have it. A not so fresh cyberpunk. So this is it you guys. Thank you so 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 much if you stayed until the end. This was a lot of work to create but I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned some new tips and tricks. If you want to see me in the top 5 of the Nordic Face Awards, then please vote for me on nordicfaceawards.com. It would mean the world to me. All the info will be in the description box down below. Until the next time peeps, stay golden!